Okay, welcome back. We're going to investigate these chart options here, as discussed previously. One thing that is really important to point out, though, is when cut and pasting a checkbox from one tab to another, and this also applies to a combo box or different types of Excel objects, one actually has to go into Format Control and redo the cell link because it will break if you bring it over to a new tab. So the cell link is just the actual switch that's underneath the checkbox. So in this case, it's cell P6. We've already fixed the other three, but we just wanted to point out that one so you don't forget to do that if you're ever moving a Maccabicus quick chart between tabs. Okay, so what do we have here? We have the option for three different types of stat lines. The first being an automated average line that will calculate the average of all of these ranges. Let's go ahead and take a look at that one. And we can also bring in the data label. So this is currently set at our Maccabicus defaults. We have a blue line and then a black label. Let's change the color of this line, actually right click it, then go into format error bar, and then we can just change the fill color here. Let's change it to our CFI orange. And let's also change our data label to reflect that same orange. We can just select the data label by double clicking here. Then let's also apply an orange font color and let's bold that with control B as well. Okay, that looks excellent. So we can see here that in this label cell, this is really where this data label is being pulled into. So one could always make adjustments to this formatting. And then our average calculation is, is just right here in column G, and it's calculating the average of the lows and the highs. So that's just a little clarity on how that's working. And then of course, this switch right behind this checkbox, if we trace all dependence, we can see that it's really driving those cells. And if we switched it off, those cells reflect NAs. And in this case, the chart actually won't graph NAs, so they won't appear. Excellent. So we have that looking really nice. We could set a median line if we wanted to, but they're a bit redundant, an average and a median. That would be a little bit crowded. Let's investigate the bonus line. The bonus line is great. You can add, say, a targeted share price. If we wanted to add a share price target of, say, $11.25 here, we could just type that in and then tick off bonus line, and then that line is inserted automatically. Again, let's just change the format. Let's get the line in our nice CFI orange. And then similarly, the data label itself in orange as well. And let's just make sure that this is in the right font. We could double click it, then go in the Home tab, and we see that it is in Open Sun. So that's great. We're just going to adjust the alignment on both of these. We can actually use our Move Data Labels functionality in Macabicus, which is walked through in another video. But one can actually just, if we want to adjust, say, the average first, and we can put in a step of five so that it moves a good amount. Let's click that five times to put it to the left. And then let's do the same thing with the bonus. And we'll click it five times just so that they both stay in line. And that looks excellent. We can also change our label on the bonus label. It says price, actually. Let's have it say target price because as discussed, that's what this really is. And there we go. That looks awesome. We do actually need to move this to the left again. So we'll just quickly do that and get it in line with our average. And there we go. So we have now completed our football field chart using Macabicus. It's highly customizable, as you can tell, and it looks super clean from a data presentation perspective. Enjoying these tips and would like to see more of our content? Then hit like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for all your support and we'll see you over in the next video.